Hi, everybody. Welcome to The Red Booth Show. I'm your host, Kimberly Quigley, and we are here talking with the musician Timbaland. He's also a producer and has a new TV show coming out. So come and join us. Hey, Timbaland, how's it going? I'm good. Great. Well, first of all, I just want to say that I love your music. And I also know that you've worked with a lot of artists that have had great success. So it's honestly pretty amazing. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So this is pretty exciting. You have this great new show called The Pop Game on Lifetime TV. And the purpose of this show is to help bring some new pop artists to the world. Can you tell us a bit about it? Well, you know, the pop game is me mentoring five kids that I feel that already are winners. And now it's the second phase of their career is, okay, let's take what you built to the real world. So it's me being a mentor, a father of music, and helping these kids, each and one of them, you know, be great at what they are and finding their strengths and their weaknesses. Well, I think there's probably not a better person that could be doing that, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> and so how did you choose these kids to be a part of the show? Um, the, you know, finding these kids on the online and the internet and seeing what they already previously done. Okay, let's take this and showcase it to the world. Very cool. And also, you have your own record label, so I understand you're going to be giving a record deal to the very best person that comes out of the show. Is that right? Yes. Yes. They're going to, um, they all, like, it's, it's kind of, when you see it, you'll understand, like, some, it's a really, like, one gets a contract, but not saying that the others won't get contract. It's just that some, that person that gets the contract is ready right now, and you just can see it. Right. And then you obviously work with them to develop them. And then what does your record label do with them at that point? Well, I mean, it's a process. So first of all, we have to get to that stage and we'll see, you know, where to go after that. You know, it's a process. Everything changes every day. So first of all, just getting them the 10 weeks and then that'll be the second phase. That's really cool. And do you actually help them with writing their songs as well? Uh, n not, r not really. I bring in writers. I bring in my team. Um, some of them write their own stuff. So I bring in, you know, all my writers to help them, you know, maybe change a lyric and some write the songs for them. And some who are writers, we critique their songs and help write the songs. But mostly my writers write mostly everything. Well, that's amazing. So how would you say that your show differs from, say, contestant shows? Because um, this is not a contestant show, because it's more of mentorship. And, and it's like if it was a family show, but it's a family of music. It's a family of, you know, kids who enjoy music, kids who be on Snapchat, kids who be on Musical.ly, all the apps. And now let's, let's, take, let's take that away and let's really put it to real life. So that's what this show is different about because it's like a family show and it's really growing up in the growing up in music and the people and the kids who have the love for music at this age and guess what? One of the greatest producers to work with, you know, and working with me at one on one. I mean, you can't get no better than that. It's not like a turning a chair or hitting a button or, you know, uh, five people judging, it's just me. Yeah, like you're really taking care of them too, yes. which I think that's just so cool. It's it's really wonderful. Well, I wanted to ask you, what is it that drives you to work for all these other artists, you know, instead of just writing hits for yourself, um, like you're helping all these other people? Because that's what I believe that my gift is called to do. I feel like that's what God put me on this earth is I am music. So if I am music, I have to share it with others who enjoy music just as much as I do. And these kids are the future and I believe in them and I see five years down the line with them. You know, success doesn't come overnight, but perseverance and trial and error is something that we always go through in life and something that these kids got to understand that 
no matter if you get a door slam in your face, there's another one that will open. And they gotta, I want them to understand disappointment and understand, you know, the word congratulation and understand the word disappointment. And so they won't, you know, be confused on what's supposed to happen and what's not supposed to happen. And it's kind of like a guideline of, yeah, this is gonna happen. Yeah, you're gonna have some happy times, but you're gonna have some sad times too. And I'm just here to be the show to the cry on or to talk to or to lean or to get advice because once I create the hit or the song for them, they have to take all the, what I've taught them and what my people I brought on the show, the other celebrities taught them and take it all and heed and go out there and be the pop star that you're meant to be. That's really amazing and I think that that's a really great way of showing and developing artists and I can't wait to see what's going to be happening on the show. And I have one last question about somebody that's really close to my heart that you've worked with and you know, it, she's a very big deal, but I don't know if it's okay for you to talk about it or not. I just wanted to ask you, could you tell us some really cool stories about when you worked with Aaliyah? Uh, you know, everybody's the cool, there's no such, there's no such, there's no cool, the coolest story is the work that we work together. You know what I'm saying? Like everything that you can possibly imagine, we probably done, but you know, it's nothing that's, it's the cool part to me is just being in a room with my sister, you know, us working together, creating magic. That's cool. There's no particular outside that jumps out or something that jumps out or stands out. It's just the fact of two great people in a room doing what we love. Well, that is definitely what it's all about. And I can tell how much you love it and how much you care about all of these kids. So I'm really excited about the show. I can't wait to see what happens. And I hope everybody tunes in to watch the pop game on Lifetime TV. It's been really great talking with you. Yes, 10 p.m. on Tuesdays. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Thank you. All right. Well, everybody, thank you so much for watching my interview with the legendary musician Timbaland. And it was really cool to talk to him about his new show, The Pop Game. Definitely don't miss it. You can watch it on Lifetime. And also you can tune into the Red Booth Show every Saturday night at midnight to get to know other artists and musicians, actors, filmmakers, and more. So thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.